Public relations specialist for the VAT Implementation Office, Kurt Reynolds, says the media consultation was an important part of the public education campaign. Reynolds says although the turnout was less than hoped for, the consultation was an essential part of the VAT implementation process. To ensure that in the dissemination of information, as the media people are really and truly reservoirs of information, that they're given the general public the accurate information, the required information, and that they themselves, in terms of the actual service that they provide, that they are well equipped on how that is going to affect their business. Reynolds says the public needs to realize and embrace the impact VAT will have on everyone's life. Every business entity which meets or surpasses a $125,000 annual mark will be mandated to register for VAT. Businesses that fall below the threshold will be the only ones given an option to sign. Some services will attract a VAT. Um, I can say to you that um, we cannot identify specifically the media service as one service which will have that or will not have that. Um, what we have done is identified financial services as a service which will be exempt, uh, mainly because you cannot identify the value added to a financial service. But media persons do fall under as long as they meet the required threshold of $120,000 per annum. They will be required to register to charge and collect that. And um, that means then there would be certain checks and balances that need to be put in place on their part in order to continue to do so. Starting January 2010, the VAT Implementation Office will embark on a massive public education campaign in communities across the island. The public, they say, must understand how the tax system will work before it takes effect. The first three weeks of January, we expect there to be a lot of education on where we're going to be. And we need to partner with the media to ensure that in that process, persons are familiar with where it's being held, what is happening, as well as what VAT will do for um, the solution economy. Under the proposed VAT system, some goods and services will be exempt while some will be zero rated. VAT will be charged at a rate of 15% and under the system, the price of some goods will decrease while others will increase. Lovely St. Amy reporting for the HDS News Channel 4.